Hello and welcome to the Tiffin Maths Department Sixth Form Virtual Open Evening. I'm Helen Bickerstaff and behind me is Dr Jamie Frost. This evening we'll give you an overview of the maths courses that we offer at Tiffin and an insight into our fantastic department and we'll look at the reasons that you might want to study maths with us. So briefly, if you study A-level maths, 100% of the content is prescribed. If you, in addition, study further maths, there are some options in year 13. So here's a brief view of all of the subjects that you study over your two years. Um, pure maths makes up two thirds of the content, and that really carries on from what you've done at GCSE. You also get the chance to study some applied maths in statistics and in mechanics and start to see really how maths can be used in the real world. If you choose to study further maths as well, you go really in depth in pure maths and start looking at some very abstract aspects of mathematics. You also get two options and you can choose from statistics, mechanics and pure mathematics. We offer slightly different options each year, depending on student preference, and you can see what our students are doing this year. If you come to study maths with us, you're taught by two different teachers. We follow the Edexcel specification. You're given textbooks and also an individual account for the e-textbooks. In addition to this, all students are given an individual account for the website drfrostmaths.com. You may recognise the name. This website, with a comprehensive set of resources and exam practice galore, um, was developed in-house by our very own Dr Frost, but it's now used by thousands of students in thousands of schools across 133 countries. The examination is very straightforward. At the end of year 13, you take three exams and they're all equally weighted. Two for pure maths and one for all of the applied content. Further maths is very similar. Although you study most of the maths content in year 12, you take the three exams at the end of year 13. In addition, you take four exams in further maths at the end of year 13. Two for core pure maths content that everyone studies and one each for your options. Some students take an extra option paper or even two, but only the best two count for your final grade. Some students also choose to study AS Further Maths. For that, you sit one paper for Core Pure Maths and one paper for your options. We have very simple entry requirements. We ask for a Grade 7 GCSE Maths to study for A-Level Maths. The Further Maths course is very demanding, however, and very fast-paced from the outset. So we do ask for Grade 9 in GCSE Maths to study that. Maths is extremely popular here at Tiffin School. 411 students are studying maths in the sixth form. In fact, we have so many students doing further maths that we have four further maths classes in year 12 and four further maths classes in year 13. In fact, we offer six different options for upper sixth further maths, which we believe is more than any other school in the country. Sorry. And all teachers in the department teach A-level maths. Now, we're very proud of our results here at Tiffin. Uh, Pre-pandemic, 79% of our students achieved A to A star and 42% achieved A star grade in their final A level. And for further maths, our results were even better. So 80% of our students achieved grade A or A star with 51% achieving A star. We have many students going on to study mathematical based courses at university. So last year we had 15 students gaining places just to study pure maths. We're also particularly successful in getting students into Oxbridge. In the last 10 years, we've had 67 students from Tiffin go on to study maths, physics or natural science, computer science or engineering. And we're not just about exams. We really pride at what we do outside of the syllabus in the maths department. Uh, so we run a wide variety of clubs. For example, I run the Riemann Zeta Club, which is a year 12 enrichment club, looking at British Maths Olympiad problems and doing Oxbridge prep and such. And we love our board games as well. So we do bridge club, uh, Karen club, chess, etc. And we do quite a lot of preparation for university admissions exams, for example, the maths, uh, the maths aptitude test used by Oxford Imperial, for example. And we also run weekly step sessions, uh, which is an admissions exam used by Cambridge, Imperial and Warwick. 
And some of our students, we choose to become maths prefects who support the students lower down the school. And we're really grateful for that support that we receive. And we do very well in terms of maths competitions. We are third out of almost 2,000 schools in the uh, Team Maths Challenge run by the UK Mathematics Trust. And for the senior version, we were 11th um, as well this year. And we have one student, in fact, who was on the training camp for the UK national team. Now, there's a variety of nice quotes that students have said because they love their time here, but I particularly like this one, the second from last. My experience with the TIF and Maths department has been a very enjoyable one over the last two years, and I feel that the help they have given me has been excellent. There's always been opportunity to ask questions outside the classroom and helpful answers were given. Thank you. So this is a year 13 student who was new to the school uh, in our departmental survey. And that's really our philosophy, to enjoy and achieve. We want students to enjoy mathematics, but we also want them to achieve well in mathematics as well. But the most recent achievement was by our very own Dr Frost, who won the Global Teacher Prize COVID Hero Award last December. Over the past year and a half, his website became a lifeline for students shut out of classrooms all around the world. So the final thing is for you to think about why you want to study maths. Firstly, it really develops your thinking and problem solving skills in a way that no other subject does. You can really start to understand how maths can be applied in the real world. And that's something that you'll use if you go on to study the related subjects such as physics, engineering and computer science. But really, as Dr. Frost has said, we want you to study maths because you just absolutely love it and you can't imagine not studying it. Thank you and good evening. <laughs>